All right, y'all. This is probably going to be a quick video here, but uh, working on building this corral here, putting up a head gate and all that fun stuff. So tractor definitely comes in handy for stuff like this. And I went ahead and got them pallet forks. I wish I'd have got them to start with because they are very useful. <clears throat> but anyway, putting the head gate here, uh, building the chute here. There's going to be a gate on this side <clears throat> to let them out after you're done with them. And then I'm going to hang my gate over here. <clears throat> and eventually I'd like to be able to build a roof on here and then they can get in here out of the weather and stuff and I plan on feeding them the hay in here for the winter time <clears throat> that way uh, all the hay and manure will be in you know one place where I can clean it out with a tractor and compost it but anyway this is what we got so far also things are very expensive these posts right here i was gonna buy you know enough to do the whole pen with but i ended up using some of these old cedars uh just because of the cost these posts right here seven foot long five to six inches you know round or fifteen dollars now i remember like last year they were like six seven dollars for that post and that's 15 so yeah all right y'all i've got my comp uh, corral mostly done it's gonna be a six foot gate right here and then it's going to be a four foot gate in here but other than that pretty much got it eventually i want to put a top on this where i can feed the cows in here and they got a way to get in out of the weather and i can clean all the old hay and manure out of it with a tractor and be able to compost it One thing about this corral, it's uh, pretty simple. Probably don't mean a whole lot to a lot of people, but kind of does to me for several different reasons. Um, one thing is, this is something I built. It's something I've been thinking about for a while, exactly how to do it and what I need to use for it. Also, my dad come down and help me uh, build most of it yesterday uh most of the post and the uh getting the foundation of the boards and stuff up but uh it just something more sentimental when you actually build something than it is just go buying something most of the farmers now there ain't many small ones left most of your farmers well, it ain't many young ones either because nobody wants to take it up. But most of your farms are really big, a couple hundred heads of cows, stuff like that. And they go buy the new and the best pens, the portable pens. They drive them around from field to field wherever they need them and squeeze shoots and everything like that. And that's all nice. I ain't got nothing against that. But it's just something that, uh, something that makes me feel good about coming out here and putting in this work and time and knowledge really of how these things work uh, this is the first pen I built by myself I helped my dad build one when I was a kid and uh, at his place and then uh, the other place we had we worked was a pen already there that uh, my grandpa had built, but I kind of got to see 
you know what one needs to to look like and how it needs to operate and simple things like that um, with cows when you're building a pen or something where you're planning on working them it needs to be rounded you don't if you got corners like that what happens when that cow comes in and gets in that corner they turn around and you turn back the way they came for some reason it just doesn't register to them where if you got something around it when you get them in there they'll just keep funneling around wherever you need them to go so i've got my corners in here where i don't have a real tight corner they're kind of rounded around and i got it funneling over against this wall where you can walk them straight in to the chute there and then do what you need to do with them but anyway getting back to it it's just something more sentimental about building it yourself the posts and gates have gotten really high. I bought a couple of good posts to hang the gate and head gate and all, but a lot of these posts here are old cedars that my father-in-law had been sitting in the shed probably 25 years. These uh, rough cut lumber boards here come from local Amish sawmills. So it just feels like to me a part of uh, preserving the heritage a bit, maybe. Maybe that's just my kind of thinking. Maybe it's a lot of something that most people won't pay no attention to, but anyway, that's all I got on this one. Stay prayed up, prepped up, and strapped up.